and so on and so forth. Here we have the HPLC or high pressure liquid chromatography. In high pressure liquid chromatography we use what property to separate? We use the property of dissolving in water or polar solvent to, to differentiate between different kinds of molecules. So that's why in this case we need to have uh, water as a mobile phase. No, no, sorry, sorry, for not water. We need to have a liquid, sorry, liquid as mobile phase. Usually the liquid are non-water molecules or non-polar molecules which are hydrocarbons in nature. Okay, because we are dealing with, uh, in, in this kind of setup, we are dealing with amino acid sequence and proteins which, which can be dissolved in this hydrocarbon or organic materials. It cannot be dissolved in water. So we need to have uh, a liquid which are hydrocarbons or non-polar molecules as mobile phase and we can also have a polar materials as stationary phase okay. okay now in this case what we are looking at this is the high pressure pump and through which the pressure is created and you inject the sample in the six port injection valve and the sample again carried out by this pressure uh, which is uh, which is made via these uh, mobile phase molecules and it will carry it from this place towards this place and throughout this it, it will eventually uh, end up with the detector the detector detects it feed in it into a computer screen and um, an illusion is done uh, of the further mobile phase and finally we can see a chromatogram like that okay so the duration of this process is 5 to 16 mi 60 minutes in previous case we also can have 2 to 60 minutes so you have the 5 to 16 60 minutes Okay, the column for this HPLC is more or less that same like the G GC column, but in some cases GC columns are a little bit more higher because they can be coiled. So GC columns can we can find GC columns coiled like that, but the HPLC columns are not coiled out like that. Okay, so what is the basic application? What are the basic am applications for uh, for this uh, using this HPLC? You can use it for for the purity control, for the quality management and uh, certification of certain products, certain drugs, certain pesticides and other things. You can use it in environmental and pharmaceutical analysis purposes. Okay. So what are the limitations of this using uh, this sample? Solubility is definitely is a limitation of this. So solubility is a limitation. In a, in a mobile phase, no thermal restrictions uh, are there. Okay. So we need to have a sample preparation, filtration and extraction solubility in the mobile phase in a, is a problem so if if uh, the molecules we are using the analyte uh, we are using are non soluble in water non soluble in hydrocarbon molecules then we cannot use them in hplc system that's why we need to use something which will dissolve in hydrocarbon because in normal hplc techniques we use the non polar hydrocarbon molecules as mobile phase and polar molecules as stationary phase but in the reverse case, we use uh, the reverse thing for mobile phase polar and for stationary phase non-polar. Why we use the reverse cases? We have I have discussed it earlier because if we use the hydrophobic in both cases, then they will interact with each other and the separation could not be established. Okay, that's why you need to have the same type. Uh, that need the, the different types of mm, chemical property for the molecules. Okay, why we use the pressure? Because in in case of gas chromatography we do not need pressure because gas is uh, can have a random flow from one place to another place but the water cannot water have to have we need to push water for making it transfer from one place to another place that's why we need to use water okay uh, that's why we need to use pressure for water flow.